Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today is free game dev asset day. Yes, every other week we've got free assets from Epic Games. Today is no exception, but on top of that, we also have a massive update around the world of Fab. I'll get back to that in just a sec. I'm going to preview the assets really quickly and then we'll get to the updates that happened to Fab last week. I decided to wait to do a video on it after the fact because I knew that this one was going to be upcoming. So this is one of the assets you get for free. Basically, the way this works is you go, you add these to your cart, you check out, they are yours to keep forever. It is uh, paid for by Epic Games, so it doesn't matter which version you pick, by the way. And one thing you will notice here, here is the prop showcase for this particular asset, right? And here, it is exported and running in the Godot game manager. So you could get these things out and running in other game engines, no problem at all. Check down below for guides on how to do that. While you're down there, you'll also notice there's a number of bundles going on for Unreal Engine and other game engine developers. Do be sure to check that one out as well. Using those links also supports me, which, hey, I appreciate. All right, so here we go. This is the first asset. This one, like I said, is a modular cabin environment. I got a number of props going on here, etc., to create this this kind of stuff uh and then next up we have this freaky sci-fi environment so uh it's sort of like actually i have no idea what it's like it's kind of like a stargate we got this guy in there as well uh but as you can see we've got this uh like black hole sucking all these environments in obviously a very niche asset let's go ahead and look at the overview on that and see if anything individual will be useful so you can see here you've got all the various different uh pillars and so on in this environment and why is my computer chugging all right over here you can see again a uh, number of different platforms we got our little singularity event going on over there uh and yeah that's about it and then our final freebie here is this modular character. So you can see here a number of different characters going on there. Uh, a lot of characters. So obviously if you're creating a uh, post-apocalyptic style game, that's what we've got, including these guys on um, prison jumpers and gas masks. There's a story to tell there, I'm assuming. So you can see here a number of uh, different outfits and props and accessories all to go together. Really useful pack in that regard. So a, a ton of things for creating a variety of different modular characters. This one is actually available for both Unreal Engine and Unity directly from the Fab store. And now, yeah, it's time to head on over to Fab. And uh, here we go. So this here is the Epic Games launcher. Now, when Fab launched, it wasn't the most exciting thing ever. People weren't really incredibly excited about it. Uh, it's implemented here, so all your stuff is available there. But what you'll notice here in the Epic Games launcher is you come on over here, and there is now a Fab tab. Now, this actually gets a little confusing because your, your assets are now in two locations. They're in the Unreal Engine library assets area, and then they're in the Fab area. So you can do is come into Fab, and then you can go to My Library. Now, there's some cool things going on here. So this one, for example, I've already, it shows you that it's on disk. It makes it easier to find the things that you've already got installed. But the other neat thing you can do is actually pick your uh, program of choice. So if you're using my or Unity or Blender or whatever, you can say that. And then now you can actually select and dr export directly out to that environment at the same time. So you can see here, uh, I can format it out to the, whatever it is supported. This one is very diverse in what it can handle. Uh, so I can have it go straight over to Blender, looks like that, and then click and send it over to Blender. We also have the ability to do multi-select now in Fab as well. So this makes Fab a whole lot more useful than it used to be. On top of that, you've now got uh, favorites lists and so on. Plus, you can see here, this is something I've wanted forever. I can see what's actually downloaded. So if I want to manage things a little bit better, I can now come in here and easily um, manage what is actually installed by Fab on the disk. That is, I, I don't know why that was missing before, but it was. So now you can do multi-select output. Uh, you can also filter by a variety of different settings, what is available and so on, what, what uh, platforms it supports. Now, the one thing that I do find very disappointing here though, and I don't know if it's just me, I want you to let me know if you're running into the same thing. Uh, all the Quixel stuff is integrated right here. So you can see anything Quixel, you could grab it and use it right here, but it's not showing my purchase so i should almost i like pretty much i added all of the quixel stuff to my cart the end of last year like i hope you did as well but for some reason in this iteration of fab 
my Quixel stuff isn't showing up. And I, let me know if yours is and if this is user error on my behalf. But yeah, huge updates to Fab. Fab is now available in the Epics launcher. Uh, you can, uh, again, buy Blender compatible stuff directly on Fab. You've got the ability to send out directly to the system that you are working with. And you have the ability to export multiple uh, or um, create multiple assets at the same time. So you can grab multiple things here uh, and then uh, see, control select. And then I could add them all to my particular project. So you don't have to do it one by one by one anymore. Nice feature there as well. So some really nice quality of life things on Fab, which really needed it. There was a lot of things that were missing from Fab from the very first day it launched. So it is nice to see those being rectified. So that is it. Let's do a quick overview of everything. So we head on over here. Uh, we have the update on the story here. So Fab's now available in the Epicscapes launcher. Make it faster, more convenient to grab Fab Marketplace assets. You can also batch add to cart, batch download, and batch export assets directly to your favorite DCC with one click. Simplifying your workflow assets can be exported in a wide variety of file formats, including Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender, 3D Studios, Max, Maya, and Cinema 4D, while custom disk and socket export capabilities gives you the flexibility to tailor your export workflow to your pipeline. Definitely nice features there. So uh, a bunch of new features inside of Fab. Um, and it's definitely one of those things that we've been waiting for. Uh, there is more stuff happening in the land of Fab. So other things are, are being worked on, as you can see here. I think eventually Fab will be great. I think it launched too early. Well, definitely launched too early. Uh, but it was missing some very critical things. And the only thing I'm finding, again, really disappointing now is my access to all of the Quixel stuff, which is unfortunate. All right. So that is what we've got there. On top of that, we've got our three free assets. Again, hoard these. Add them to your cart somewhere in the next two weeks. Once you've purchased them, they are yours to keep forever. Uh, you can choose between the pro or the standard version. It doesn't matter because Epic Games are picking up the bill on this one. So we have the uh, sci-fi environment. Uh, and then we've got the adventure character. Uh, this is kind of underselling, as you can see from when we saw it. There's like a ton of different characters. This sort of makes it look like it's just her, uh, this Sarah Connor knockoff. But no, there's a ton of different characters in there. And as you can see, this one is available for Unity as well as Unreal Engine. And then finally, we have the modular rural cabin environment here. And as you saw, this one was exported out to Godot, pretty much picture perfect. So static meshes export out extremely well between different game engines. Check out the guides down below. So even if you are not using Unreal Engine, you should be hoarding these every two weeks. Hoard them. And by the way, I cover them every week, as long with all the other game dev news. So if you like what I do here, do hit like and subscribe, and I will keep up to date in the world of game development. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a new and updated version of Fab. And again, I know a lot of people do not like Fab uh, or the Epic Games launcher, uh, but it is definitely improving. We got these nice filters here to go through your library. Makes finding stuff so much easier. That part I love. Uh, it is starting to get legitimately useful. We're going to have some UI clutter, for example, here. We have it st stuff available there and then stuff available there. That is a little bit confusing, but I imagine they'll clean that up in time. And then the big thing for me is if I go to my library and Quixel, I don't see any of my Quixel assets. So let me know if all of your Quixel stuff showed up because that's kind of important, right? All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.